Okay, here's what we printed. So we we printed this uh, spool, and we, we printed the wrong one because this is a circle on the bottom, and we went at ones with a hexagon. So, and we printed this vertically, and then we tried putting the uh, tried putting the uh, skateboard bearing on here. This thing snapped off because the layer lines are going in this direction. So, so what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the pins on both ends and then we're going to use two of these pins here and plug them into both ends and it'll be a lot stronger. Plus we're going to we're going to print these pins on their side so they uh, so the layer lines uh, go in this direction. So what you want to have is you want to have the layer lines going perpendicular to the most force. So the most force is pushing to side to side on these things and same thing up here side to side. So we want to uh, uh, make sure the layer lines go in that direction. Now for this thing, you know, layer lines are going this way and the force is this way, but this is a lot bigger and I think it'll be okay. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to print this thing on its side like this, which we didn't do last time. So this this is this area cracked right here because again, all that was holding it was the, the layer adhesion between these two layers here. So, so we're going to print it this way and if we print it this way we can see that now the layer lines are are going perpendicular or actually diagonally to the uh, to the force. So if we if we go down through the print here, we can see. I should have just run it down manually, but. Okay, yeah. So we're we're doing a, a hatch pattern. That's going across where the most stress is. So this this side over here is attached to this side, and this side is attached to this side. So that that makes this joint a lot stronger. So that's what we're going to do with that. We're also going to get rid of the uh, dumb symbol on the side of this, which I'll show you how to do that next. Okay, so we'll go into Simplify, uh, or rather, a 3D Builder. This is a free program that's available from uh, Microsoft as part of Windows. I think it's an app search for it in the app store. I'll, I'll try to put a link and information about it in the description. So we start with a new scene. So we can just say new scene. Okay, I already did a new scene. So Then we're going to add uh, this thing, which has this crazy uh, symbol on it. All that does is make, make the part weaker. So we, we don't want that. So we're going to say OK. And then we're going to uh, put this at 0. Always good to start at zero so you know where you are. And then we're going to uh, uh, pitch this 90. I think that's the right way. No, nope, not that. We didn't want to do that. We want to do roll at 90. Oop. Roll at 90. There. And then we want this to be uh, so it's flush with the there. So it's flush with the surface. That makes it easier to fill it in. And then we're going to put it, make sure it's back at zero. So that's zero. That's zero. And this is 24. So this means this is a 24 millimeters high. All right. So we're going to add a cube and we're going to, oops, add a cube. We're going to superimpose the cube on top of where that pattern is. And we're going to merge the two objects together. And we're going to uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that crazy uh, symbol there. All right, so we need to make this smaller. Obviously, we don't want it to look like that. So we'll make this about, uh, I think maybe 25, something like that. Might be. We'll have to make a rectangle out of it because some of the symbol is still sticking out on the side. Actually, no, I don't see it. Maybe that is enough. All right, so we'll try that. And then we'll, we need to make it skinnier. So in the y direction, we turn this off. In the y direction, we'll try 22. Oh, that was a long direction. In the x direction, we're going to try 22. That's still not quite enough because it's sticking out. So we can also displace it. Um, let's try displacing it. So we will move it this way. Like that, and I don't see. 
We're going to make it wider anyway just to make sure. We'll put this on an even number. Let's see, 4. Oops, minus 4. There. And then we'll make it wider just so we make sure we're covering. There. That covers the whole symbol. All right, so it's still too tall, so we're going to change the x, x or the z size to about uh, 5. And then I'm going to put it back at um, 2.5. There. All right, so that's completely contained within the original cube. And uh, now we need to merge those. So we select both of them. Let me say edit, merge. Okay, now it's one thing. So we can save that. We'll save that as, yeah, so this is the one with no pin. So no symbol bracket.3mf, yeah, that's what we want. Yeah. Okay. So now, yeah, that looks good. We also want to save it as STL because uh, I'm going to be uploading this to uh, Thingiverse as a remake. So save this as STL. It's going to tell you that that's uh, you know 3MF is a better format than STL, but STL is, is more standard. So I like to upload those for this kind of part. It doesn't matter. It's so simple. All right, so that's it for that. And I'll just stop here with uh, 3D Builder. Then we'll come back and we'll do, we'll edit the uh, Wasp Waste. All right, so we're we'll start so we this up again. Uh, so I had the same things. project up a second ago. So we're going to do a new scene. Get rid of that. We're going to insert an object. We're going to load an object. And we're going to get it from the original. So here is the... Spindle body V2, that's what we should have gotten. So this is the one with the hexagon on the bottom, so that's what we want. Okay, so this is the X direction now, but we're gonna we're gonna rotate it um, 90. No. Nope. We're gonna pitch it 90, so that's the Y direction, I guess. Okay. So now uh we're going to put it back at zero. And then we're going to pull this up so that it's flush with the surface. There. So it's 2.5. So the total height of this is uh, 105 millimeters. That's what I measured. And uh, so this is the x direction now because we, we, uh, we did a, a pitch. All right, so um, what we need to do is we want to make the bottom of this the same as the top, actually vice versa. We're going to get rid of this pin and have a hexagon, inserted hexagon on either side. Then we can stick pins in there that are stronger. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to uh, split this in half, or slightly, uh, approximately in half, and then we're going to uh, throw away the top and duplicate the bottom and s put it back together. So. That's the plan. Let's go ahead and save this before we mess up and save over the original. So we're going to go to uh, no pin because we're not going to have any pins sticking out. So, okay. All right. So now we're going to do what's called split. We're going to split this, and we want to split this at um, instead of in the middle. We want to go up. Let's see. Well, let's just split it here and see how big this is when we get done. So this is 52.5. See, so it, it's it's too long. We got we got we got some of the top and not just halfway. So we want to undo that, and we're going to split it again, and we want to go down. So it's the length. We want the length that when we get done to be 98 divided by two, which would be uh, 49. So I want to go down by 3.5. So I'm going to say split and we're going to say minus 3.5. Up, oh, I'm going to go plus 3.5. 3.5. Okay. So let's try that. Keep the bottom. 
Now the size of this is 49, so that's correct. Okay, so now we're going to duplicate this. Control C, Control V. Okay, then we're going to we're going to flip this one over. And I think I need to make this minus 90. Yeah. Okay, so it's flipped over. Then we're going to put it back at zero. And we're going to move it to. Um, I think if we just slide it up, it'll click into place. Yeah. All right. So now it's 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 flush with the other one. So, and now if we select both of them, the total size is 98, which is what we want. So, all right. So we're going to select both of these, and we're going to say uh, merge. So it takes a little bit of calculation to merge these two seams together. Sometimes there's problems when you merge things that are that are butted up against each other, but we're going to see if this works or not. All right, so the size has got off a little bit, so we're going to change change the size back to the standard, which is 30 by 30. So there was some round off error when it was merging them. So I'm going to put this at 98 exactly, and we're going to put it back at zero. So see, there's some there's some of the round off error by these calculations. Back at zero and back at 49. Okay. All right, so we'll save this. And we're going to save it. Remember, we're going to upload this to Thingiverse as our version. So we're going to say save as. We're going to save as STL. And it'll give you a warning, but that's okay. All right, so now we'll go back to our project. And we'll get rid of this. We'll get rid of this guy. Now, on this project, I already loaded in the uh, no symbol, no symbol bracket. So that's already in there. So we'll get rid of this guy. Uh, remember, this printed fine. This is, and um, uh, we need, we we already re reprinted this with the earlier version of what I was trying to do here. So I'm not going to show you that. When we're, so all we're going to print now is the new spool. I'll show you the end result, but I had some other problems with the print. So this part printed okay. The spool there was a power failure, so the spool didn't print all the way. So of course it, it wasn't what the spool we wanted anyway. So that saved some time actually. All right, then we've got these plugs. So I say, let's go ahead and import the uh, no wasp wasted spool. We're going to use the STL version just because that's what's going to the internet. So see, this version has no no pins. It's got the uh, oh, it's got the circle. It's got two circles. That's not what we want. So we want to import that. Oh, we went on. We're on the wrong one. Yeah, that was my other attempt that didn't work. This one is what we want. Okay, let's get rid of this one. There. Up and we lost the. Uh, how did we lose that? We want the uh, this one. Yeah. I right, have the center and arrange. Okay, so now we're back to where we were. And we printed this one on its side. Remember, that's the best way to get it strong and with minimal support material. You just need support material over here, and some under these uh, holes that I guess are drilled for keeping it lighter and saving material. All right, so this is flat on the thing. Let's just go ahead and test this print to see if the seam had any funny artifacts. So we'll just run this down to close to the middle. And we'll see if there's anything funny going on here. It looks like the merge happened perfectly. I don't see any weird, weird uh, gaps or anything. So looks like it printed perfectly. Great. Or it... Um, merged perfectly. Now I'm going to print these things, but remember we're going to print them on their side. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a, a feature of, uh, oh, let's save this as uh, no pin. Yeah, save as. Um, yeah, so we're going to save it as this. So no pin, oh, I didn't want to save it as that. Uh -huh. I want to save it as the file I already had in there, I think. Yeah, so we're going to get rid of this one. We want to see, yeah, what else do we see those two? No pin. Oh, this is wasted, like you're wasted. Okay, that's good. All right, so we're going to save that. I guess that's a good name for it, close enough. 
Now we're going to use a feature of uh, Simplify 3D where we can lay a uh, surface on the bed. So we, have, we want to put these on their side like this. And uh, when they first were dropped into the model, they were on one of these points, which of course do you want to print like that. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing for this one. Place surface on bed. Okay, so these are rotated at a weird angle, so we're gonna we're gonna rotate them. Oh, some other words, Z rotation got weirded out. So we want to do a f minus forty-five. It looks all right. So we can do forty-five. Have to point to the front. Well, that's not right either. Hmm. I want it to print uh, straight straight to the side. So let's uh, see which see which angle works as I'm pointing sideways and we'll just make them all that. That looks right. 57 degrees. What angle is this at? Okay, so let's make this 57. Oh, that's not... <laughs> okay, minus 57? Yeah, okay. I guess this is minus 57 too. That's still a little crooked, it looks like. Let's see. Let's go back one. That's too far. Yeah, so minus 56. There. All right, then we're going to select the. We actually want two of those, so. Because we need one for the top and the bottom. And we aren't sure. The tighter one uh, worked better, but I'm just going to print both of them because it doesn't take that long. All right, so these are hanging off the edge, which means we're going to need support under these, but that's fine. This should be easily supported. It won't take much time either. All right, so we'll save that. So this is our complete project now. We've got the bracket with no symbol. We've got this thing printed on its side properly. We've got the new spool, wa wa wasp wasted spool with uh, hexagons on both ends. And we've got four set, two sets of pins. So we can pick the pins that fit the best in the uh, roller skate bearings. And then we're going to print this out. So we only need to print everything now. We just need to print these four th five things. So. Go into Simplify 3D, and we're going to say Select Models. We're going to just select the pins and the uh, No Wasp Wasted Spool 2. Not sure why that's 2. I guess I added it more than once, so that's okay. All right, so then we got that. Oh, the other thing I did to make the uh, layer, uh, layer adhesion work better is I changed the fan speed to 10 after the first layer. That should be give a little better uh, layer adhesion, and um, at least it was so far. Whatever else I printed, like I, I printed this bracket already using that. It seems to be fine, so I didn't get a lot of blobbing or stringing or anything. So, all right, so we'll print that out. Let's see how long that's going to take. Two hours and forty-three minutes. Okay, so we're going to print those out. You can see there's some little supports here, which is fine. Those are easy to get off, and there's support under here, which is good. And of course, there's no support on the top. So. All right, so we'll print that up, and then that should be it. Once we get this printed, everything should work. Wish me luck. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Post a comment if you have any questions or ideas, and I'll try to respond. That's all for now, but more videos are coming. And if you want to see them, please subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification icon if you don't want to miss one. This is Beta Signy signing out, and keep looking up.